Uh, I thought we showed a lot of heart, a lot of resiliency. Uh, never gave in. Uh, it didn't look good, I think, when they got up to 13, but we just kept fighting and uh, were able to, to regain momentum in the game you know, with our pressure. And Gaffney was the point of that, really did a great job. Frankie had some steals, too. Frankie's been playing at a high level the you know, last couple of games. Just he's, uh, you know, him and uh, Phelps look like you know, two you know, big-time guards. And, they, and we knew their guards were really good, you know, Harris and, and Phelps. Um, and, and they're a team that's it's an up-and-coming team. You know, they got some good players. That was a good team. And uh, so to, uh, to get that victory, it's, uh, it's really good. They gave you a, a lot of problems defensively, especially down in the paint for a while in the game, but allowed seven points in the last 11 minutes in the game. What was the adjustment that went on there? I, mean, I think it was it was more our defense stepping up than than anything. We we, we were lost on defense for, for a significant amount of time. You know, they had sixty one points or so at I wanna say around the ten minute mark, which is a lot. Like we've been giving up close to that number for a game. So we you know, we were not making multiple efforts. They were getting to the paint. We uh you know, we gotta get healthy, man. We need Sean Phillips back. We gotta you know, we gotta get some good news on the on the waiver front, we, we, we need, you know, we need help. <laughs> so uh, just, uh, you know, again, there was nothing Sean could do. We, you know, we just need more help in the paint. And, uh, and that, was, that was pretty evident. I think it was like 20 to two at halftime in the paint. So, uh, and we, uh, we lost the paint by 20 and still found a way to win. So, I mean, it's, it's really good that you could get a win. I thought the crowd was great. They were really engaged tonight and really helped us down the stretch. Was improved rebounding just better effort on your end, or them just simply not making shots that they made early? We we uh, we set a bad tone like around the 12 minute mark of the first half. We were we had good control of the game, and then we like stopped making multiple efforts, and they they were sending four or five to the, to the glass. So if we ever did come up with the ball, like it was like we were um, we were ready to go in transition, and we we knew that was going to be a key number, and we we clearly. You know, outplayed them in the transition game throughout the game, uh, and that's when we were able to get the rebound. You know, there were a lot of opportunities for us. What was kind of that final kind of tick to you to kind of go, okay, now we're going to full court press? Well, I mean, we were at, at a point where uh, there was no other choice, and, and the game was slipping away. And uh, you know, it's tough to to commit to playing that pressure the entire game and play that way with with such a limited. Uh, amount of players that you're using that you could, you know, completely trust in a game like this against a quality, quality opponent that that was playing pretty well. Uh, so you know, we we saved it until when we we needed it the most. What makes that so um, composing to deal with for opponents? Do you think? Well, I, nothing against you know when we're in our diamond. There's nothing nothing against the two wing guys, but when you have Gaffney on the ball. And with his length, and he's kicking the basketball out of bounds. He, I think by our numbers, he had 10 deflections in the game. So the inbounder doesn't even know if he can throw the ball in bounds. And then, and then when you have Frankie Collins as, as the center fielder, and, and he's got really great instincts of, of shooting a, a passing lane, and those two guys are, are where it all starts. And, and they were both very good at it today. When you get deeper, or you get something healthier, do you think that's something that you, that you can utilize even more? Or? I, I, I think so, and even because you, you could have Sean Phillips back there, if there is a, you know, if they did get past everybody, he's, he's going to be around there prepared to contest shots at the basket more, you know. Um, so, yeah, I, I, w I would say so. You've you talked about, obviously, Jose's energy. Was that... Tactical was kind of maybe just a little bit too much emotion coming out of him right there. You know, and I, I was like moving on to the next thing, and, and I it was very congested around you know, where the basket was, so I, I didn't I didn't have a clean look at exactly what happened there. You talked about Frankie's improvement. Um, what were some of the things that you think enabled that in, in this last off season and building it now? He put a lot of work in on a shot, and his. Uh, and you've seen he's making like timely shots. And the last two games, he's, he's shot the three well. He's hitting, hitting his jump shot. And then that was like kind of the missing piece because he's such a good player on defense. He's so athletic, so good in the open court. He's a willing passer. He's, you know, he's, he's a leader. So you know, he's kind of got everything you look for at that position. He just 
he's he's starting to trust to shot more and and the ball's going in and you're seeing him playing more confidently. How good was it kind of to eke out a close game? Because you haven't had a lot of real close games. The two you lost were not close, and you've been won a lot that aren't close. So yeah. to just have to make those plays. Yeah, I just I, I think I got winning winning players that you know never never gave up in this game. This game reminded me a lot of the the UMass Lowell game and. and how it all played out, you know, down the stretch and whatnot. But uh, you know, they just we were relentless to, to keep stacking stops and, and, and forcing them to turn it over and and you know, and we just we just kept feeding off that and it was uh, it was really great to see. Second straight game that your two leading rebounders were uh, Jemiah and Frankie, is that kind of do you think due to you know, lack of depth inside or what do you think lack of size. Right now, and it's 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 all injury related. There's it's hard to you know you got two key rotation players, one starter that's a seven footer that you you would think could could assist in that area. Now we're asking like Bryant and Zoe to tangle with these big guys and just try and keep them off the glass, and then and then Frankie and Jemaya both get off their feet exceptionally well to go get the ball. So they're they're doing a great job. Anything what new one? What have you seen in uh, Braylon so far, so far this season, seeing him kind of playing big minutes down the stretch in yeah. his development? Yeah, I liked it that he came in and he was a part of, of, of uh, the end result. You know, he had a positive impact, especially defensively when we were making that surge. And, uh, you know, I, I think the best way I look at it is, am I thinking about trying to get a guy off the floor or am, am I finding it difficult to take him out? And even though he's a freshman, and we were playing so well on defense, and and he was a part of it, that it was tough to want to take him out of the game. So that's to his credit that he, he was playing that. Way. How do you feel about his ability to initiate offense as well on the other end? Kind of there were times where he was getting pressured one on one, and he was going to court well. Kind of thing like that. Yeah, he did well with that. I think he just had one time where where he mishandled the ball when we when we got a steal. Or, but but other than that, he, he you know he was fine. He had a big three in the first half too. So. Any any notice on when you might get Zane Meeks back? Uh, Zane is is going to be it's going to be week to week and 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 again I uh, we're our, our medical is is checking in with him you know day to day seeing how he's doing and then we'll just keep keep seeing right now I don't I don't foresee him you know playing this weekend but I I mean I maybe something miraculous happens over the next couple of days. Today uh, Adam made known his frustrations with the process of trying to get eligible. Have you tried to? Steady him on this sort of difficult time. Yeah, there, there were there were a couple of texts that we exchanged today that, that were uh, very upsetting to me. That that uh, you know, so I know truly he's uh, he struggled, you know, with his mental health and and it's being it's being tested and uh, and, and certainly it was reflective in, in our communication today. And that's why like he wasn't even here today. Like I I said to him. You know, I know this is really tough for you. You know, so let's, you know, if you need to not be here today, then let's let's do that. That's in your best interest. That's all I care about. Um, the absence of Sean today, um, Ryan really stepped up and made some plays down the stretch. How do you feel about his performance tonight? Oh, you and some other big guys on the other end. Yeah, Brian has, has been Brian. I mean, he's scrapping, he's battling, he's giving us everything he can. He uh, had a nice roll to the basket, and and Frankie was able to find him. Uh, and uh, you know he he didn't uh, he didn't shoot his free throws as well as he did the last game, but but you're seeing progress there, so that's good. So you know, free throws, all the attempts tonight. Uh, how does how do you feel about that and being able to get down to the basket? And get the free yeah, well, we uh, we we didn't settle as much for jump shots. Yeah, I mean we I thought our ratio was good with with not uh, you know not you know just relying on on perimeter shots. We were getting in the paint. Uh, they're a very aggressive team on defense, so it's it's uh, it's not surprising. Uh, that, that those uh, that's how many free throws we did take tonight. Jemiah struggled shooting the ball tonight and also got the off the dribble on the perimeter a couple of times. How did you kind of keep him up and keep his per perseverance going throughout the rest of the year? Yeah, I mean, he, look, he's uh, it's not going to be a straight line up for him. There's going to be some, you know, some uh, small steps back. But overall, I, I trust what you know what he's going to do over over the entirety of the season, and uh, I, I have no no worries about Jemiah. I think he's he's going to be fine. You know, big picture, this team is overcoming a lot of issues to win the game. But you're down by 13. You get outshot from the field. You get 43 field goals. With all the problems you've got, though, it's got to give you a great deal of confidence in looking down the road when you do get these kids back. 
It, it does. Uh, you know, they're, they're key players, and uh, they're going to make our depth stronger, and and uh, and certainly our ability with Sean Phillips to, to, to rebound and protect the basket a little better. Um, but I'm, I'm very impressed overall, though, with with uh, with SMU and just watching them on film and you know seeing them you know have solid wins versus uh, West Virginia and being very competitive against other Power Conference teams. I know this. You know, Rob Lanier is doing a great job and, and has that, that program going the right way. And it, it took you know, just everything that we had tonight to, to get the job done. Yeah, it was there was good. There was a little bit of a regression in the halfway through the first half. Was that because the three ball kind of stopped falling a little bit? Or was it just that lack of size we're talking about? We, we just we, uh, we stopped uh, just being, you know, we needed to get the 50-50s. We, we weren't getting them. They were a, a half a second or a second quicker to the ball than we were. They were. They were pun punishing us uh, on missed shots, and we, 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 we were not being physical. And we, uh, we did that versus San Francisco. We, we did not do it tonight, and we have to, we have to fix it. We've got to make sure that we don't go through stretches where teams are able to take advantage of us like they did you know, around the basket. So that's got to be something that we focus on uh, moving to our next game. Jose Bobby talked about the uh, press kind of pushing you guys back into the game. And you just talked about how that unfolded? Uh, the press makes us play hard. It makes us put in effort. Uh, we turn teams over. Uh, and right now, we're playing well in transition as a team. We're sharing it when we get in transition better than, uh, in my opinion, in the half court set. So I feel like right now, we're, we're, we're labeled as a transition team. Jose, your ability to get to the three-point line arguably was the difference between winning and losing. How do you, what, keep, what kind of at first gave you the notion that Getting the free throw line was a skill of yours, and then making it such a big part of your game. Um, I just take notice of that since I was a freshman. Uh, getting to the free throw line a lot. Um, I did it at a very high level. I thought there was some missed calls that I didn't get just because I was drawing so much contact. But got to the line. That's a lot of times right there. <laughs> 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 Whoa. Yeah, 15 See, times. Definitely? Yeah, 15 times a lot of times, but. We, we got out to win, and uh, it's good to win at is that, home. Is that the most in your career, do you think? Or? Nah. <laughs> Wait, what's, the, what's the most? I think like 21. Okay. Yeah, around there. So last time you had a 20-point game, you still got a lot, a lot of rust to knock off. Is that still the case tonight, too, another 20-point game? I feel like I'm getting a little groove back. My teammates are uh, trusting me. I'm getting, uh, I'm gelling better, just adjusting to their games, where I could get them the ball, where they could give me the ball. And I feel like it's being noticeable on, on the car on this four-game win streak. I feel like your role is um, when you guys are in that full court press and how well you can do it. Just turn people over. Um, just make people turn, turn them a couple times. Uh, let Zoe Frankie get a deflection or a steal. He leads the nation in steals, so he's back there playing safety. Is it what happened on the, on the technical and the distribution? I did not say nothing. He said some bad words. I looked at him. Next thing I had, I see double technical foul. I'm like, wow. Uh, if I did say something, please give me the film. <laughs> <laughs> well, what can you guys say about Zoe Gaffney at the, at the point on that press? His length, his, uh, his defensive uh, of intensity on, on the ball is amazing. Like, he changes the impact, people with deflections, like people having to reset and take the ball out. Like That gets the team like uh, under pressure again, and they don't want to handle it. They make an extra pass, and then you got Frankie as, as a safety. He's making multiple reads, and we're just getting out in transition, making the right play. Now we're going down the other end, three on one, two, uh, two on one, and just scoring. Coach talks about trying to pick and choose when they use uh, when you guys use the press, but do you, is that ever something that you guys go to him being like, hey, coach, you want to go and press now? We want to add some pressure now. He does that. <laughs> Frank, do you want to add any more to that? Like, is that something you're doing, coach? You're like, yeah, I'm like pressing now. Yeah, it has it has a lot to do with us trying to take control of the game. I feel like that's our way of taking control of the game because sometimes I feel like when teams is outscoring us, it's because it's because we're not turning them over enough, or we don't have enough pressure on on the ball. So with Zoe being at the top and me being a pressure, uh, the you know still guy, I think I think that can get us some easy buckets and turn the whole game around. Frankie, Coach talked about your ability to improve your shot over the offseason. How do you feel your confidence is growing? Um, it's grown a lot, as you can see. Um, I mean, I'm just happy to see some shots go in. I know early on it wasn't there, but I mean, I've been working. I've been working a lot on my jump shot, so 
just having confidence. My teammates have confidence in me. They, my, the coaches do too, so how could I not? For the both of you guys tonight, DFA was probably some of the loudest it's been throughout the season. What was it like for you guys getting off that energy and finally, you know, seeing Coach Hurley's jacket come off for the first time in a while? <laughs> you know when the jacket come off, you get serious. But <laughs> I haven't seen it. I only seen it on TV. So <laughs> today was my first See, time. Yeah, it, it, it was fun. But it was, it was good having a crowd. Like I feed off energy. I guess like my teammates do as well. So like the, the louder it is, like the more energy we have, and, it, and it's good having home court advantage in college basketball as well. It has, a, it has a lot to do with us taking care of home. So as long as we continue to take care of home, we'll have all of our fans there supporting us. So we want to thank the ones that's coming out every night and being there. Do you really feel that just coming into this game in a three-game winning streak is what allows you to get this comeback tonight? Just being a good group, good, good momentum, good confidence? I, uh, I mean, yeah. I think I think we've, we've been down before in previous games. I mean, even last season we had team, our team, when we down, it's just all about the fight. You just got to play hard, man, and just change the narrative. Basketball game of runs, so everybody get their runs, and now it's time for us to get ours. You guys were down like 13, but can you kind of talk about the mindset at that point? It's, there was still enough game left, but you didn't get too phased. Just chip it down by media. Um, just, just like It was like 10-minute mark. It was 63.50 or something like that. We just get it down to like six. And then the next media, tie game. And by the time the game's over, we should be on top. I think I think we have a lot of guys where there's no reason for us to feel rattled or anything like that. If we if we're down, it's just okay. Now we just got lock in defensively, lock in at the free throw line. I like opportunities we get to make easy baskets. We just got lock in on those. I see you go and talk to to Bobby during timeouts or when when guys are at the free throw line or whatever. What what are those interactions tend to be like? Uh, just seeing where his head's at, uh, different sets, you know, telling him what I see out there as far as like ball screen reads, uh, making sure we get certain guys some touches to get them going, just things like that. If he sees that, even sometimes like a shot attempt, maybe I'll go apologize. Maybe a shot I shouldn't have took or something, or a turnover I had, maybe a turnover I shouldn't have took. But just most importantly, just being on the same page and just staying connected. Charles is probably the hardest on him because he's coach played the point guard too, so, <laughs> so he want to play. He wants to play like him. Right. You guys have a short SMU, twenty-two to seven in the fast break points. Um, with the limited size you have right now, as far as availability with Sean and things like that, um, does that kind of up tempo play um, kind of help compensate you for those boys? I, I think I think a lot of teams will try, and since we're missing a lot of big guys, I think a lot of teams will try and play a big lineup. But I mean, that might not really help you because, I mean, we got some guys who are on the floor. We're athletic, so if we, if we, if you want to play big, we get our, we got guards that are crack down and rebound. So we'll rebound. He's always outlet up the floor, so we're gonna run, try and get easy baskets. Frankie, being you know the point guard, what did you see from Braylon, you know, kind of playing that position in that when, especially when you guys were high pressing, what did you see from him and things he did well? Uh, his energy, man. He he comes in defensively and he guards the best player on the floor. He goes out there, he makes a lot of effort plays, and, and he makes his open shots. He takes his, pride in that. Yeah, he takes pride in it, yeah. too. So, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that he can go, he can see why he's waiting for a name to be called, see how, how uh, defensively he should play, uh, just watching me, and I can set the tone for him. But he comes in, he does what he needs to do, he does his job. Well, Frankie, I know you talked about obviously seeing shots go down, but even for both of you, how big is it for you if they're not, I mean, shot very well tonight, but like just to get to the hoop, to get those points, to draw fouls. But I mean, is that something that if shot doesn't go down, you're just looking to get straight to the hoop? Uh, I mean, if shot's not going down, I mean, my game is not to just shoot every time. So, I mean, I can get other guys' shots, you know, make plays for others. And especially defensively, I can get a steal and go get a layup. That'll make it easier for me. So, and same with him. He, he doesn't need to take a million jump shots. He can go. He's probably one of the best foul drawers in the uh, country, so he gets himself to the line. When, uh, when you guys are trying to build an identity in the early stages of the season, what is it like playing without some of your guys, without the team at full strength, trying to sort of steady the ship as they recover? Um, I would say some, it's hard sometimes because, you know, you miss a Sean, a shot blocker, someone who's a lob threat. I just think, I just think next man up, we got to step up. And, you know, even some of our key guys got to step up even more and just, we just got to excel in what we do and just continue to play together and play hard.